Hi guys, it's Lisa. I am back again with another video. Please excuse my fuzzy little coat. I'm freezing to death down here in the basement. I don't know what's going on. Super cold. I am uh, going to be working on a coaster set. And uh, this is my new Diamond Edge coaster set. I did another video before. I'm not sure how I'm going to, what I'm going to do with them yet. But I'm just going to do like the first layer. Which is going to involve these little hearts. And they are made with resin and uno momento resin and copper leaf these come in a three pack copper gold and silver they are just chopped up uh, leafing imitation gold leafing they call it gold leafing but it's actual copper it's <laughs> actually copper leafing but anyway they come in a three pack they are listed down below so anytime I have I'm doing a project and I have leftover resin I always have molds set aside whether it be like tiny little molds or bigger molds, just so that I don't waste any resin. So, so um, I had four of these sitting around. They are little hearts, like I said before, and they're copper leafing. Can you see it? When, when my camera's turned around this way, the lighting is horrible. But if I have it turned around the other way, then I like never know if I'm in frame or whatever. So anyway, I have four of these little things. And they come, I make them with this little, just a tiny little heart mold. That's it. But I have a ton of them and I never know what to do with them. So I thought that instead of when you're making your molds, you know how you put the little glob of glitter in the middle? I thought it would be super cute to put a glob, because this is kind of glittery, of not a glob. You can't have a glob of a heart, can you? No. But a little heart in the middle instead of the glob of glitter glob of glitter so what i'm going to do is i just got in my new ks resin the liquidy split this is the first time i've ever i've used it i'm not going it's never a good idea to use a fast curing resin in a silicone mold but because I never do what I'm supposed to do, I thought it would be okay if I do just a super thin layer, just enough to be able to stick this down, let it cure, just so that when I put these in, they don't float when I put the rest of the resin in. Right? In my head, that's, it's gonna go great. It's gonna work out. But the problem is, is with the fast curing resin, I don't know the fancy term. Something like exothermic something. I don't know. It heats up really quick and it gets super hot. Um... So, but I'm going to do a super thin layer. 
<laughs> I keep thinking that super thin layer is going to make the difference, right? Hopefully, I don't mess up my mold because I really like it. So I should probably be trying these in a mold that I don't like. But I'm not going to do that. I also thought about just sticking them down with UV resin. But I don't know if when you flipped them back, if I brought them back out, if you'd be able to see UV resin underneath it, you know? So anyway, super thin layer, super thin layer, so it shouldn't get super hot. That's my plan, Stan. So I'm going to mix up my resin because I didn't want to mix it up on camera because once you add the two parts together, your time starts and you got like 15 minute work time, I think. Like I said, I have not used this yet, so I'm guessing it says 15 minute work time on the bottle. So anyway, so I'll mix up my resin and then I'll bring you back. I will be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. My resin is mixed up. And I do have to say, so far, the first time using it, I do not smell anything. Now you're talking the difference between, like I'm comparing it to um, Stone Coat Quick Coat, which, oh, stinks horribly. It, is so horrible so I don't smell anything um, I'm not mixing any pigments in it right now it's the reason I don't have a respirator on so my mom don't yell at me anyway so before I add any heat or anything to it I will put it on, but for the first time using it, I just really wanted to see if there was a smell and all that stuff. I have a couple little glitter pieces here that fell in my mold. I don't know how that happened. Probably fell off of me. I have glitter on me all the time. All right, so let me bring you down and I'm gonna get started before my resin cures. Okay. All right, so I'm just going to put A tiny little bit in each one try to get them even. I mean, they don't have to be perfectly even. But even enough. Um, I'm going to use this little silicone brush I got just to spread it around. Just to get it to the corners so that it'll level itself out. Let's 
guess it's not really corners, right? Because it's a round mold. Move that one up. I should have used my turntable. I haven't used it in a while. I don't know why, because it's so much easier. I don't know why every time I say the word turntable, I think of that song. Two turntables and a microphone. If you don't remember that song, then we probably shouldn't be friends. Okay. It's getting thick. It's a pretty thick to start out with. Kind of like a about the same consistency as the um, KS Art Coat. So, medium viscosity. KS also has a casting resin and liquid stone. That's for like tabletops and countertops and things like that. So they have the art coat, the casting, liquid stone, and then now liquidy split. Which I heard this would be pretty good on tumblers too if you work on tumblers because the um, The Liquidy Split also has the UV protectant, heat resistant, and um, FDA compliant. So you can use it as a top coat um, on like trays or tumblers and stuff like that, which is which is good because you can't use um, stone coats, quick coat as a top coat because it's not food safe. All right, I'm gonna get the bubbles out here with a little bit of a torch, just enough to get the bubbles out. Don't want to get close to the edge of your of your coasters with a flame. You want to keep it. I think my torch is running out. You want to keep it away from the edges. All right. Okay. Now I'm just going to set these. Stand up so I can get halfway decent middle. Set these in. Come on, bubbles, come out. Don't get trapped underneath there. That's not nice. Whoops. That's not the middle. I'm just eyeballing the middle, guys.
some bubbles. it for right now minus this husky hair probably from my furry coat although this furry coat has got a ton of resin and paint on it I can't believe I'm on video with it on. My husband told me before it. I can't remember what he said. It was funny. To me, it looked like a dirty <laughs> dish robe or something. Something like that. So, I don't have quite enough resin in here so it's pulling from the sides but the second coat will fix that but I just don't want these bubbles and I'm so afraid to get my torch up in there Shouldn't be leaning over with this coat on. I should take my dirty dish robe off. <laughs> it's very comfy and cozy though. So, I mean, I've done videos in my pajamas for God's sake. So I guess the robe is okay. Just want to make sure these stay down. See that one kind of moved a little bit. So see if I was to put like a bunch of resin in it, they would just go. I think I'm uneven because it seems like they're all going in the same direction. I don't know what kind of layer I'm going to do next. All right, I'm going to hit these bubbles one more time. I'm going to quit messing with them and we'll be back. Should be ready for the second layer within the hour. So, uh, back up we go. Hopefully. By the time I come back, I'll have a plan as to what I'm going to do. Look at, you can see that piece of dust. It's getting ready to just, look at it. It's getting ready. It's going to fall right in a damn mold. Go away. Go. Jeez. 
So yeah, hopefully by the time I get back, I'll have a better plan as to what I'm going to do. The dust, the dust. If you guys don't have one of these, a little picker thingy. I used to use tweezers, but sometimes you just don't get it. And then you just end up with a mess on your tweezers. So I guess if dust falls in it right now, it doesn't really matter because this is just the base coat. I will pick one up though because I want to see. All right, so it feels like it's already setting up, but I don't feel I don't feel any heat. So I think my theory of a super thin coat won't ruin my co coaster mold. It might be it might be accurate. <laughs> I'll let you know in about an hour. <laughs> So, all right, guys, I will see you back here uh, shortly. Hi, guys, I'm back. I am going to, I think I decided what I was going to do. Um, so, you already see me put clear down, put the little uh, resin and copper flakes heart in the middle um, off camera I just sprinkled a little bit of copper glitter uh, so I let them cure so now I'm going to put this really light it's just a tint it is the Caribbean sea tint um, I had already made it into a alcohol ink by adding some alcohol and a little bit of hairspray for a binder. Um, so I just put a couple drops in there just to get to the tint. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to make like flowery designs. At this point, I don't really care if it turns out like a flower because. I just want it to be a cool design. Um, but I'm using Aquamarine. I have it in the piping bag from Resin Art. It's a luster pigment. In this, I did put a couple drops of the Casting Craft just to give it a little bit of weight. Um, Everybody who's doing these have been using, you know, the casting craft. Um, so it did mute the color a little bit, but it's a really, it's still a really pretty, pretty teal. So I don't know if that'll work. And then, not sure if this is going to work either. But this is the liquid copper in the piping bag. All right. So, <clears throat> here we go. Let me get my gloves on and let me get my mask on. Hang on. So, I hope you guys are all having a great day. Mine is okay. I did have a headache earlier today, but I took a little nap and it seemed to help. Hang on, I'm going to sound muffled. Ugh. All right. My gloves. All right. So this is just the tint. This is going to be like its base color. But because I already got the clear, it's going to give it, when I unmold them, it should give it 
a lot of depth. Uh oh. I might need to make up some more guys. more resin. I undershot it. So I'll be right back. Okay. So I got some more. Hang on. I got some more resin mixed up. <clears throat> Looks like it might be a little darker. <laughs> oh. And because I just mixed it, it's all bubbly. glasses down so they can fog up under my mask. Alright. So these molds hold four ounces of resin. I didn't make up enough because normally the coaster molds I do take like two and a half ounces. So. And you kind of got to fill them to get that full um, effect of like the diamond edge. I think. I don't know. So I don't have to worry about my center because it is down from the first layer. So it will not spread out even if I overheat. So that part's kind of cool. All right. So I'm going to use the heat gun to pop some of these bubbles. They'll keep coming because I just mixed it. So. So I'm going to pipe the aquamarine and the liquid copper. So we'll see how that goes. So I just have to cut off the very tip of this. Last time I cut too much and I... lines were very wobby jawed. I'm going to do very thin on this copper because this is essentially a spray paint. So it it's pretty thin to start with. And 
maybe just a touch more. Okay. Okay. All right. I guess stand up. I don't have. Oops, let me cap my alcohol ink here. All right. So let's try this. Oop. I don't need my hoodie string going in my coaster. Oops, that one looks kind of not like a flower. I love like turquoise and copper together. It really is a pretty combination. Um, all right, I'm going to go I probably should have used some white because that's where you get your wispiness but I didn't want white in these coasters that's why I added the casting craft thinking that it would give Oh, these are some horrible pebbles, petals. Thinking that it would give it that, um, adding it to the powder, give it that weight that it needs to sink and do that stuff that it does. We'll see. This is an experiment. Curious to see what this liquid copper does. Curious, curious. The resin I used in the first half of the video was the liquidy split. And you guys, it was ready to pour over like in an hour and a half. Although I didn't do it because I went to bed. But it was ready. But this layer... I didn't want it to cure fast. I want it to slow cure. So this one, I'm just using the KS Art resin, the liquid art. Uh, should I leave? A little clear. Or should I put another? I can't hear you guys. Okay. 
Do I ever leave it alone? Nope. Never. So if you guys are interested in looking to try a new resin, I really recommend KS. I have been super happy with it. Um, I was a stone coat countertop, stone coat art coat. And stone coat quick coat oh I should have used this and like injected it shh, shh, like Tammy did in one of her videos shh, shh, shh. oh well next time okay so I have this much copper left and this much of this so I will be using them in molds so I don't waste all right I'm gonna heat it up just a bit I'm gonna kind of like try to leave it be a little bit I know you're supposed to blow it, but I kind of want to see what it's going to do if I don't blow it. Should I take a pad or a skewer and I don't know. Should I? Should I not? Let go. No, I'm gonna. No. No, no, no. Come on, leave it be. Leave it alone, Lisa. All right, I'm just going to let it sit overnight and then I'll bring you back for the unmolding. So we'll see how they go. I'll be back in a bit, guys. Okay, we're going to check on them. They're about three hours later. Looks like the copper is all coming to the top. And the aqua's all going to the bottom. So I'm definitely going to have blobbies on the other side. This is uh, going to be interesting. Let me get it covered back up. I don't want dust in them. And then I had extra copper and aqua that was in the piping bags. So I just put them in these little molds. Again, any extra resin, you don't want to waste it. 
just get little molds because as you can see this is how I made the little hearts that went into the coasters so and then a little butterfly and then this thin butterfly and let me tell you something if you have not tried piping molds uh, it's a game changer I have a hell of a time with this mold because of all the little areas and with the piping bag it just went in seamlessly so there's a little pro tip for you see I just put a little copper in those littler butterflies so when I have extra resin from the next step I'll just fill them back up but their bodies will be copper so yeah don't waste resin guys and try the piping bag with molds that give you a problem because this one man super easy all right guys i'll show you when they're done when i'll be back with the unmolding okay guys um i have good news bad news more bad news and more bad news so i started unmolding these and they were sticking so I took them upstairs and uh, tried a trick that Jules Madison sent me, said put them in hot soapy water and let them sit. The issue with this mold, which is my favorite mold, but the issue is like the edge, it like has a lip that comes forward, right? like that lip so it wraps right around the it wraps right around the coaster if you fill it all the way up so from now on I'm not gonna fill it all the way up because this lip that sits on top of the coaster ends up sticking <clears throat> so I'm probably going to take an exacto knife and cut this lip off that way I still have the diamond edges which I love so I don't think this this mold handles um, my heat gun very well either I really tried not to use it a lot uh, but I mean you do have to because I was spraying alcohol on them to get the bubbles to pop and they weren't really doing the trick so because these flower techniques involve a lot of heat I probably won't be using these coasters for that and I'll just use these for just like regular puddle pour or geode coasters or something okay so I gotta work on that mold the lip also leaves a lip right here too so if you don't fill it up all the way, I think you're going to avoid all kinds of problems. All right, so here's the front. Which is pretty cool. I love the little copper heart. The backs, eh, they don't look very good. I mean, they're kind of funky. But, and the heart's very clear. But the copper, like I said, um, the copper like went to the top, the others went to the bottom, which I'm thinking if I didn't add the casting craft, the powder probably would, or the pigment powder probably would have stayed up with the copper. So maybe my mistake was adding the casting craft. So I'll definitely try it again. But I think the fronts are pretty. There's a lot of depth in there. Here's the other one. Same thing on the back. They all pretty much turned out the same. But 
I do love this edge. I'm going to take my X-Acto knife and sand down this edge too because it's pretty sharp. So if you don't fill them up all the way, I think you'll be good. So like three ounces because I've been putting four ounces in them. So I think I'll be using them it this way and I'll put the clear backs or the clear what are they called? Little rubber things on this side. So, there you have it. There they are. And I gotta work on getting this mold to work. I've never used mold release either, so that might help too. Um, if you can, anybody who's used mold release, let me know what the best stuff is to get and um, if you think it's worth it because I really love this mold and I don't want to ruin it so there you have it guys so thanks for watching oh here's a couple little oops hang on Just with the leftover resin, I made a couple little molds. I'll just show you all I got you. This one is the one that I used the piping bag because I had leftover in the piping bag. And it worked fantastically. That's my little butterfly. And then two more of the little hearts, which is the mold that I use for the heart that's in the coaster so all right guys so thanks for watching and i will see you on the next video bye guys